Bruce's favorite ex-boyfriend, Stephen Bishop is here. <laughs> Class, we're heading to the field house to cook up a batch of football snacks that'll have your crowd on their feet during the big game. Can't wait for that. And later, you'll be seeing double when we introduce twin runway models who have put a positive spin on their difficult past. I can't wait for you guys to meet them. But first, how about a little girl chat, honey? Yeah. I love yeah. chatting with you girls. Yeah. I love chatting it. with you girls too. I know. Okay, so sometimes it takes someone on the outside to make you realize what you need to work on on the inside. True. And since we all know each other so well, I was hoping we could tell each other what we think we could all approve on. Okay, so wow. each of us came up with something about the others that we are going to share right here for the first time. Oh God. I'm a little nervous, okay? <laughs> Me too. So I'm gonna go first. Okay. 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 So okay. let's Good. see what you guys wrote for me. Okay. You some crown royal, baby. Yeah, I know, girl. I was gonna say. <laughs> and with their names on Oh, and okay. oh, so cute. Okay, so. Crown royal Oh. Uh, you guys are gonna make me cry. Well, what? read it first. <laughs> what is this? You are always so hard on yourself. Stop apologizing and learn to care less about what other people think. Why don't you think you... <laughs> Why don't you think that you are enough? I don't know. Um, I am, you guys are right, actually. You guys do know me very well. Um, I was a child actress. And as an actress, you go out on auditions all the time mm. and you hear no mm. more than you hear yes. Right. That's, that's, what I grew, that's what I grew up with. Mm -hmm. So I always heard directors or casting directors say, no, you should do it like this. It would be better if you do it like this. So I'm constantly trying to better myself. So maybe that comes out as me being hard mm -hmm. on myself. And then, you know, I grew up, you guys, in this fishbowl. And people always had an opinion about me ever since I was 14 mm. years old, whether I wanted to hear it or not. And whether you want to be affected by it or not, you are. it does affect you. Yes. But I have to say, being on this show, you guys have encouraged me to find my own voice, and who cares what anybody else thinks as long as I'm me, myself. I would rather for people to hate me for who I truly am as a person than to, you know, like me for someone that I'm not. And that is what I learned by being here on this show, and, and I appreciate that. Oh, I, I'm learning each and every day that I'm enough. Yes, I, right. I am enough. <laughs> That's crazy that you guys all thought the same thing. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Okay, I guess <laughs> I'm next. You don't have to be the rock all the time. Deep mm. down, I know you are one of the most sensitive people I've ever met. Why do you always have to keep your guard up? Well, this is how I've always been since I grew up in the projects. Mm. You're a latchkey kid. You always fend for yourself. You take care of yourself. And I'm happy with, with being that way. Lottie. I'm happy. Just a random question. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a time in your life where you didn't feel okay? Recently, as an adult, not when you no. were younger. Really? No. Wow. I'm, see, the thing is, when you get over 30, that's why I was telling you, once you get in your 30s and once you definitely get in your 40s, you start understanding who you are as a woman. And that's why I'm happy we have this show, because it can tell women, if you'll be okay. You just, you got age, you got experience, you got a lot of different things. Now maybe this question would affect me a little bit more if I was in my 30s or if, if, I, if I was, you know, mm -hmm. going through, you know, different things. But when you hit them 40s, it's a whole different world right now, you know. How? And I'm just happy to help people. I, I think I'm, I was brought on this earth to help people. And you do. So. You really do. I well, know that we're there for you if you ever feel like you need that support. You know we're here for you too, right? And you know what? Each of you have been my support in individual ways. I don't collectively tell y'all this, but I've been using y'all. Y'all just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> you are here we love you. We love you, honey. We love you. Who wants to go next? Okay, fine. <laughs> <sighs> I'll open my bag and see what you guys have to say about Lil Tay Tay. <laughs> 
Ooh, anybody got time for that? Okay. <laughs> you are so busy all the time, and I don't want you to miss your life. I know you love to work, but life is all about balance. You have to stop and smell the roses. What's the big hurry? Who wrote that? <laughs> well, for me, yes, I do love to work. And it's not about me rushing. It's not about me, you know, oh, this, uh, this opportunity came. Well, let me jump on this. Let me jump on this. Let me jump on that. No. I'm 37 years old. And I knew what I wanted to be when I was about six or seven. And my opportunities didn't start coming to me until I was about 34. And I feel like all of that time I've been sleeping and waiting and learning. And I feel like everything that I've been through in my life has set me up for this position that I'm in now. Not just in entertainment. I'm talking about being a great wife, a great mother, and a great sister, and a great daughter. And, and I- a great friend. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well, we still need you to take a little time off, though. I do. Like, how you don't sleep. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Hard. No, but I enjoy that about me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Like, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited about, you know, this new Monday. It could be Wednesday, and I feel like it's Monday because it's another opportunity to me, for me to be better, for me to live my dreams. And I do smell the roses. I'm smelling them now. Smell me. I smell amazing. <laughs> no, I do. But I, I smell, smell like I'm roses. I'm enjoying myself. I thank you guys. But, you know, I don't think now is the time for me to have a seat with a seatbelt, but... I'm, I promise you, I'm enjoying You promise you it. will at some point in your life when you're ready? Yes, God. Okay, then that's fine. I will. And that's fine. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. Respect that. I respect that. Okay, I'm gonna go next. Cade? All right. Great. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it's okay to be not on all the time. It's okay to not be okay. Imperfection and vulnerability are okay. No one expects you to be anyone but Jeannie Mai. So on meaning like fake? On meaning politically correct. You know, we are your friends. We're not judging you because these are your feelings. You can own your feelings. Those are your feelings. But then we get at this table and we do our job. But behind the scenes with the gangster lean, you can be Jeannie from <coughs> San Jose. And that is fun. And there, what, what we're saying is there's beauty there's beauty in that. There's beauty in vulnerability. And I can somewhat relate to what this says because in my life, I was seen as a very positive figure yeah. until one day, one of my closest friends said, Tamara, if you're not having a good day, it's okay to say, hey, I'm not having a good day. <laughs> and you know what? We'll respect you for that, right? <laughs> now, that now that you're bringing... Uh, now that you're explaining it a little bit more and I'm thinking about myself, I guess I am always positive and always up. Um, but it's not something that I'm faking. It's because I think of, like, it's work. Like, you got to keep working. Like, nothing should let you... Exactly what But I think what we're said. saying is mm -hmm. we don't always want to be work. Mm -hmm. At all. Mm -hmm. Like, like, no, We want to be your friends. I don't always just want to be work to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or, or in the sense of like, you, you, you really like us, you love us, but it's from here, mm -hmm. not from here. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you won't let us all the way in, you know? And it does take some people a little longer than others because it's, it's a defense mechanism because mm -hmm. we're all afraid to get hurt. Like we all have yeah. been through a lot in our lives, you know? Yeah. And I understand and I respect that, but I'm just letting you know that this table is a safe place for you. Yes. Like I know you guys have, um, your certain bonds together. Like, I know you guys are moms, and I think, Lonnie, you're really funny, so you're always gonna have friends because you're always really funny. I'm not a comedian, and I'm, I'm not always gonna be funny, you know, and you just, you're just cool. Like, you're that girl that's always, you're always involved with cool things, and you're always doing cool things. I'm a really normal person, and I don't have those cool things you are feel, cool, though, Jeannie. But you, you are. I you think I am, but cheat seats can only be so cool. Like, hiking can only, you know, but I think that it's because you guys have different bonds that make you. That's your perception, though, Hold on, let her get it out. Okay, sorry. You guys do, though. You guys do, though. You guys do have certain things that bond you, and I see it. And I, I, I don't know what to do with that. So for me, all I know is how to do my job well and to just be on, you know? 
and I can't, I can't get in your conversations. I can't get in your conversations. I can't get in your conversations. And I can't make everybody laugh. You don't have to do that here. <laughs> this is like the it. real. You ain't got to ha ha. I we know you like, don't want to do that. We yeah. like Jeannie Mai. Yes. Period. Not the facade of Jeannie. Yeah. <laughs> We mean that. Like, we, we actually like, we mean that. And we want to be your real friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But you we know. love you, though. And yeah. that's what we're trying to say, that we love you. We never want you to feel like you're not part of the, the group. It's like, you're okay being Jeannie. Just be Jeannie. Mm -hmm. That's all we want. Thank you. Thank Jeannie you, guys. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, Munchkin. I cry for all of them already a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> what is it? Oh, see, y'all gonna play with my emotions today. <laughs> you have an amazing voice. Why are you hiding it from the world? Why are you not making music? <laughs> oh, really? Um, one, I'm scared to fail. So I've had this solo album, people, that I've been saying is coming out for the last five years. Um, I'm scared to fail. I don't like the sound of my own voice. What? Wow. And that's honest. In 3LW, I probably enjoyed the music side more because it was like R&B. It was more of my thing. But I felt like in Cheetah Girls, they praise the fact that I sounded so young. And as a 31-year-old woman, sometimes I hear myself recorded, and I still think I sound really young. I understand. But for a long time, I think when I finished Cheetah Girls, I got a record deal at Def Jam, and it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. Like, there was so much more to music than just what I love about music. I grew up singing in church. I sing every day. Nobody knows it, but... I love to sing. I and, hear it and every the, day. <laughs> and, the, and I felt like the music business was different than when I got in the game at 16 years old. It was about it music and talent and singing. It's and not. to step out on my own and let my voice be heard, I'm scared. I'm scared. Why? Like, what if people don't like it? Or what if it's not, I don't know. What if it's not successful? Like, I almost have been saying I would rather it not come out and just say, well, it just never came out than for it to come out and be whack. Adrian, you're always the one telling me, though, never live your life with what ifs. Like, what if I did this or did that? So would you ever want to live your life asking yourself, what if I never tried? I never went out there and did my own solo album. You'll never know until you try it. It also felt like at a certain time when I was doing my music, every other door kept opening for me but music. Maybe the door has not been open for you because you're not ready and um, you would be walking into it for all the wrong reasons. You have to fall in love with music. You cannot think about who is going to buy it, if anybody is going to like it, you have to love it. Yeah. And that was my issue. I understand my situation. I understand why I wasn't Mariah Carey at 18 like I thought I was going to be. Mm -hmm. I was not ready. I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. I thought, oh, I want to be a superstar. I just was saying, no, it wasn't about singing. It was about the accolades. It was about the charts. It was about, I don't even look, and you know this, I don't even look at that stuff because right, it don't. taints the gift and the love and the passion that you have for it, and you can't do that. You know, who cares if 100,000 people or four people, ha, 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 and me buy your record? You be proud of your record because that's what you want to do. <laughs> And we know you'll have our support behind you. Thank you. It's football's biggest day, and it's time to up your game when it comes to the most popular snacks. We're taking those old, tired recipes and turning them on their heads. They're sure to score with any crowd, so let's take the field. We're making kickoff snacks. <laughs> let's get started, team. <laughs> 
First, we're pulling a page from the playbook and changing up tradition. I'm making sweet thing nachos. Yeah. yeah! These are pulled pork nachos with a honey drizzle. Start off by buying some pulled pork at the store. Then you start with the cheese sauce. Just whisk eggs, evaporated milk over the heat. Then add Worcestershire sauce, or what I say, what you call that sauce. <laughs> Mustard, hot sauce, and cheddar cheese. The key is to whisk frequently and add the cheese gradually, like this. Oh. Now, <laughs> let's do the honey drizzle sauce. In a pan, you mix butter, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and steak sauce. Also add brown sugar, cider vinegar, and a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> then you mix it and cook it for 10 minutes. Now, let's start putting the nachos together. You layer out some tortilla chips on your serving plate. You pile on that pork. You pour the cheese sauce on first. I like cheese sauce. Yeah. <laughs> then you drizzle it with the honey sauce. Mm. Oh. Yeah, like Not this. Ah! Girl. When it's all done, it should look like this. It should look like this. <laughs> You garnish it with jalapenos and green onions. These are nacho average nachos. Yay! <laughs> okay. okay, Jeannie. Next up, I love a good wing, and these toasted garlic parmesan chicken wings will have you doing your own touchdown dances. Oh. These are the offensive garlic wings. Oh. I have my wings already marinating in a bowl of garlic, and I'm going to add seasoning salt and olive oil. Then you put the wings in a plastic bag, and this has a combination of flour, garlic, salt, and pepper. Then you shake it up really, really well to get the wings coated. Yeah! <laughs> then you chop up four cloves of fresh garlic. You put this in a pan with olive oil and toast the garlic just until it turns brown like this. Don't burn it, because that's a penalty. What does that mean? <laughs> Add the toasted garlic to a large bowl, drop in the cooked chicken wings, and sprinkle lots of Parmesan cheese in it. Ooh. Mm. Just like that. Now for the toss. Oh, oh you yeah! Did it! yeah! I did it! Offensive garlic wings! I would definitely eat both of y'all, but I have a seven-layer <laughs> dessert that you got, sure Tamar? to be the MVP of any party, okay? This is called Seven Yards of Sweetness. Yes, Ooh. check this out. You use the glass bowl so you can see all the layers, like in a parfait, right? So you start the bottom layer <laughs> with, like, chocolate pudding, and then you add some bananas, like and bananas. a layer of vanilla pudding, yeah. and, like, another layer of strawberries. You like strawberries? Yes. Don't you, Jean, you... And then you put your little layer of almonds for a little crunch. So once all the layers are pretty, you're just gonna spoon some whipped topping so it looks just like what you say, huh? huh, huh. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Oh! This right here for the last thing what you're gonna do for a little crunch and munch. You take you some chopped up pretzels and you yeah. sprinkle her on the top. <laughs> Won't he do it? Hey. And then, I mean, if you're a real greedy guy like me sometimes, you take you a whole pretzel and you dip that little bad boy. Eh. Come on, Jeannie, you like that. Yes, you? check it up. Bow. Mm. That's that good. Mm. You did that. Our next guest batting average soared after scoring a home run with Moneyball. Now he's running a new game on his hit TV show from BET's Being Mary Jane. Give it up for the one and only Stephen Bishop. <laughs> Before you take a seat on the couch, you have to head over here and spin the heel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Craziest name you label someone in your phone and why? <laughs> wow, okay. 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 I'm dying to hear this. Uh, the craziest name I have in my phone is Baby Girl. Baby Girl actually got me in trouble. 
I was in a relationship and a text message had come through on my phone and girlfriend. So who's baby girl? Uh-oh. Ooh. And how come she says she loves you? Oh. Baby girl happens to be my baby sister, Aww. Ashley. I love you, Ash. <laughs> And she loves me because she's my baby sister. Yeah. Oh, That'll get and, you in some trouble. Yeah, but it yeah. will. Well, Stephen, what most people don't know is that you were a professional baseball player for the Atlanta Braves yes. and the Baltimore Orioles, yes. both your favorite teams, yes. right, Jamar? Yes. So how did baseball prepare you for your career that you have today? Baseball, as a hitter, is a game of failure. If you fail 70% of the time as a hitter, you're great. You'll be in the Hall of Fame. If you, I mean, imagine being a doctor Seven out of <laughs> ten of your patients that would be die. All bad. Okay. You're not a doctor Horrible. very long. You're Acting, doctor. you know, if you go to 20 auditions in book one, right. you're going to be happy about right. it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So baseball gave me the the thick skin to be able to deal with adversity, yeah. deal with failure, and not let it really affect me. Who would you say are more aggressive, your baseball fans or fans of your television show? Good question. There is absolutely no question about it, the fans of being Mary Jane. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. He just called you guys crazy in case you missed that yeah. one. <laughs> no, <laughs> not crazy, passionate. Okay. It was at Deborah Lee's uh, pre BT Awards party. Mm -hmm. A woman taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, you know, you could have been more honest with Mary Jane. I don't know why you thought you had to treat her <laughs> that way. And I was like, but wait a minute, I was perfectly honest with her. And let me tell you something else. And then I realized, wait a minute. You cut into it? I'm not David. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, like, in person and on television, you seem like a really nice, level-headed guy. But on the show, Mary Jane, you know, she's going through your phone. She done stole your sperm. <laughs> and she done lied about other men. Now, if you met a woman who did all of those things, could she redeem herself in real life? Ever? No. Not, <laughs> I know that's not, right. Not at this point. I mean, if a woman came to me and said, hey, I was going through your phone and I uh, found, because girl, I don't care what you found. Your girl can't go through your phone? What? That's the rule. <laughs> There's no reason for us to be together if you feel the need to go through my phone and you need to know what I'm doing that badly and you don't very trust mature. me. The flip side is I'm not going to go through yours either. See, you know what? You, you just showing how you and your character have a lot of confidence. How are you and David most alike? <laughs> We're more similar than we are different. The difference is he wasn't a baseball player. He went to Duke. Right. Mm. He's, he's more of a nerd than I am. I, I'm becoming a nerd now. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting into, you know, H2 and Science Channel. Wow. Did you know that the universe is 156 billion light years across? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely did not know this information, but you learn something new at the real every day. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, Stephen, on Being Mary Jane, your character is quickly becoming an expert at managing the crazy antics of his ex. Mm -hmm. So we've set up five stations with items that a few famous exes have used to leave a lasting impression. Uh-oh. Now it's up to you to identify which film they're from. So let's play Crazy in Love. Okay, you, go, H. you ready? I'm gonna go first. Can I call you? I'm H? gonna get into character. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If you would have just claimed Day Day Jr., I wouldn't have to have keyed your car and pepper sprayed you and sick baby D on you. I guess you and Craig won't be hitting the club this Friday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would that be next Friday? Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> so here now. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I mean, hell hath no fire like a woman scorn. I mean, I emptied your closet, loaded everything in your car, and set that thing on fire, honey. And now, now I can breathe. That would be. What's the move? Waiting to exhale. Yes, God. Yes. Over here now. Uh -oh. I am the queen of all exes, capable of anything. And when you decided to say goodbye, I made you a special treat. Rabbit stew. Uh, <laughs> this has got to be fatal attraction. Yeah. Good. I'm getting there. All right, come over here. Okay, after sleeping with me, you seem to have a change of heart. Hope you buckle up, because neither one of us is coming back from this ride. Guess the movie. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Vanilla Sky? You are correct. I think I saw that movie in one of those Would late, come on late, over late, here? late night things. Oh, okay. Lonnie's waiting for you. Uh -oh. Come on over here. Skip being crazy. Look, if you're going to tell me you love me, you better mean it. You got me beating myself up with oranges and trying to hit you with my car. Then you love me up on my birthday. You better watch your back. She ain't do the cat like that. Would this be a thin line between love and hate? <laughs> being a teenager is hard enough. Now imagine being bullied as a teen. That's what happened to our next guests, but it never stopped them. They're two of the most sought after twin runway models, and they run a nonprofit to mentor bully teens. Please welcome the founders of Twin of a Kind, Aaron and Desiree Green. <laughs> Other twins. Ladies wow. Running. Okay, ladies, welcome to the Rio. Well, yes. Thank you. For having us. Um, as a twin myself, I know what it's like trying to find your own voice as a young girl, but on top of that, you guys were bullied. Yes. Tell me, what was that like? Wow. Growing up, it was so tough for us. We were the butt of all jokes. We were ridiculed um, for our appearance. We were labeled as awkward. And really? it was very tough growing up. We were called big foreheads. We were called um, Big Gums, Skinny Bone Jones. Ethiopian. I mean, you, you name it. I mean, it was rough, you know? T and I were called the Buckwheat Twins. Whoa. Mm -hmm, because <laughs> we had big, big, big curly hair and we had buck teeth. So, wow. but the coolest thing is we had, we had each other. Yes. yes. But, even, but even so, even though twins, it's different because it's like, even though you have each other, mm -hmm. you still feel like you're alone. Yes. Yeah. You know? I couldn't imagine anybody bullying you guys. You guys back then and now are absolutely stunning. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank, thank you. Girl. <laughs> so what effect did the bullying have on you guys? You know, we tried our best to fit in, but the constant nagging self-doubt just took over our lives. And we allowed the bullies and their words to take power. Yeah over us and you know that saying uh sticks and stones may break your bones but words will never hurt you lies lies, well, lies. lies. <laughs> as you tell it did and it hurt and it hurt really bad and left scars and so you know we just didn't believe in ourselves yes well des how did you two turn it around and find your confidence mm -hmm. oh wow it actually shifted as we were growing up in high school we started running track and that is when we found our focus we focused on other things we kept ourselves busy yes. mm -hmm. and it led to big things for us because we got we both got scholarships. Yes. 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 We both got scholarships to go to college. And from there, we started our modeling career because we were sought off in college. Mm -hmm. And from there, it just took off. And when we're on the runway, we, that's when we find our strength. Yes. That's when we find mm -hmm. our confidence. And we're like, OK, yes. we love the skin we in. I know that. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you use your experience both as victims of bullying and as models to help teens. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, we started a nonprofit organization called Twin of a Kind Foundation, and it's based on building self esteem and creating positive self awareness. And so recently, we just had a pretty girl retreat, and it's all about celebrating, loving the skin that you're in. Mm -hmm. And we also provide workshops on unlocking and unleashing your star potential. Mm -hmm. And so we provide this to schools and colleges all over. I mean, we're, Desiree and I, we're a mentorship team, and we love to get in there and reach the youth because we want to be a testimony to every, each yes. and every one of those yeah. kids out there that have went through the same thing, and we want to show them that, yes, you are somebody, yes. you know, Absolutely. you are beautiful. Erin, mm -hmm. does Twin of a Kind also work with teen boys, or is Ooh. it just for girls? We don't discriminate. Girl, okay. girl. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we reach boys and girls from elementary to college. We also accept volunteers as well oh, to cool. be that's motivators and meant. cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> I need help sometimes, too. Because each of you guys have a story as well, mm -hmm. and it's powerful when you actually are able to share it with others. And it's also a healing process for the ones that are, are actually the victims. We're here with Erin and Desiree, a.k.a. Twin of a Kind, and we've been talking about how they were bullied, became models, and now 
they mentor bully teens. Yes. Aaron and Des, I think you guys are amazing. Yes, Thank you. Oh, you really are. Thank you. <laughs> I know you brought some footage of two young ladies you've worked with. Yes. So, let's take a look. I was teased because I guess I wasn't considered cool. And the girls in the class, they were, I thought they were laughing at a joke, but I was about at the joke. I was bullied so bad that I stopped going to regular high school, and now I'm homeschooled. It really hurts because I want to fit in and not stand out for being called fat. They call me fat, they call me pepperoni face, they call me beast, they call me Godzilla, they call me Hulk. I want her to be my friend, so I made an effort to do that, and she like accepted me. Me being homeschooled now and Cheyenne at um, school without me, she's one of the strongest people I know. It sucks getting bullied, but... To get a best friend out of it, it's great. Wow. Wow. We know that sometimes it only takes one kind moment to turn someone's life around. With the help of Aaron and Desiree's Twin of a Kind Foundation and The Real, we wanted to give these girls a little boost to their confidence. So before we bring out Jewel and Cheyenne, let's take a look at them before. Gorgeous girls, yes. radiant. Yes. 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 You see there's a lot of life in them, but we wanted to see how they looked after. I mean, do you see this paper right here? All those nasty and unkind words that you heard in the video are on there. Now, when these two ladies emerge, they will leave all of that behind. Yes. yes. So it's time for something new. Yes, girl, it really is, because I cannot wait to see these two cutie pies and yes. a new look, all right? <laughs> are you guys ready to meet Jewel and Cheyenne? Oh, yeah! Let's do this! Come on, punk and shrunk yeah. it! Get it, girl! You look so good, but now you look like you match what your personalities are. You mm -hmm. guys stand out. How do you feel right now? Yes. You feel amazing. You feel like a new person. Feel so confident. Our levels from here to here and now. Yes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> what do you guys think of each other's look? Yeah. I like her like down home country look and <laughs> just really, oh, oh. Cute. It's really cute. And I like her skirt, her plaid skirt. You know, cause she only wears pants, and I like her singing skirt and her hair and yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's see your before and your after. Wow, check yourselves out. I know. Look at <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron and Des, what do you want them to take from this moment to move forward? This is just the beginning for the both of you guys. You guys have so much to look forward to right now. And utilize this, this time right now, to tell your story to others. Because it's a powerful story you have. And right now, love the skin that, that you're, you're in. Absolutely. Yes. Not only that, we definitely want to, we, both, we want both of you guys to come and be a part of Twin of a Kind Foundation. We want to work with you, mentor you. But we want to send a message to not only you, but everyone else. Our motto is, why fit in when you are born to stand out? Both. Yes.